So in today's video, we're going to be going over the candlestick trading Bible. We're going to get through as much as we can, but we'll probably end up doing it in sections. Um, this is actually a live recording. So yeah, um, we know that when we're trading and we're looking on the chart, we are looking at candles, right? The candlestick trading Bible, if you want to be a serious trader, it is one of the most important like pieces of literature that you really can get your hands on. Um, you can find it anywhere online, but I will post it in the chat for you guys after this class because price action is really what trading is all about, right? I know we spend a lot of time going over indicators and we know that we're looking at the candles, but the indicators are only confirming the price action, right? The candles get more into the psychology of the traders and it can help you understand even further, like what is the market going to do? Right. Because some people don't even use indicators when they trade. They only use candles. And that is because even though it looks so simple and it's at the core of trading, there's so much information that not only the candles can tell you, but the candlestick patterns as well. So a candlestick pattern is going to be a series of one or more candles. Right. It's going to be a series of one or more candles. And by simply understanding what that particular candle or a set of candles is telling you, it's also going to be able to tell you a lot about the price and where it's going to go, right? Even without the indicators, I have to emphasize that. So although this is a recording, I do highly encourage you guys to take notes. Um, and if you do have questions as we're going along, just make sure that you drop those questions in the chat so that I can answer them. So the Candlestick Trading Bible was invented by this Japanese guy named Mohunisa Hama. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but that's allegedly him, um, and that's his name. And they consider him one of the most successful traders in history simply because he brought the idea of the candlestick pattern to everyone's attention, right? So this is a pretty lengthy book, um, and we're actually not going to be able to get through all of it today, but we are going to get through the introduction to candlesticks, and we're going to go over a few candle patterns that I want you guys to start to recognize when you are looking at your charts, right? So I did highlight some things. Um, I'm not going to read all of this, but whatever is highlighted in yellow um, is going to be what we are going to discuss, which, yeah, starts on page eight, right? And again, if you guys are taking notes, you can write that down. That You can read all of it, right? I encourage you to, but page eight is where we're starting um, today's review. So first thing, candlesticks have been around longer than anything similar um, in the Western world, right? This guy, Munisa Hama, he was a Japanese rice trader that was born in the 1700s, and he was the first person to really start to understand price action, uh, simply because he was selling rice. So he knew, okay, if I'm selling at this time of year, this is what's happening. If I'm selling at this time of day, this is what's happening. So he really took all of that into account, and he organized it into a system that he could understand which was then passed on, right, in the 1980s um, when actually people started to um, use banks, right, and not just paper trading, right, because it was a very simple, honest paper trading system. But in the 1980s, they developed this thing, they took this information um, and they basically started to put it on computers. Hence, that's how candlesticks really came about, right? So... Yeah, so that's that's what I'm saying right here, all this stuff right here. So candlesticks are important to your trade analysis because it's a visual representation of what is going on in the market. Um, Again, I've said this before, by looking at the candlesticks, you get valuable information about the open, high, low, low and close of the price. I'm just going to tell you about price movement. Now, again, candlesticks are not the only thing that you want to use, but in addition to your indicators, they'll tell you um a lot about the price. Right. And also understanding the candlesticks are, again, like I said at the beginning, it's helping you get into the psychology of the big bankers, right? And the hedge funds and the professional traders who are using similar information to make much bigger moves, right? There's a bunch of different platforms that they use, like the Bloomberg Terminal, right? Which is just like TradingView, it pulls in the data and it helps big banks really make financial decisions, right? Not only for themselves, but for their large clients as well. So these are the candlesticks, right? 
In this case, the white candles are going to represent the buys and the black candles are going to represent the sales. So this is the basic anatomy of a candle. Typically, when we're looking at trading view, this will be green and this will be red. So buy candles open at the bottom. That means price started here and then price ended here. So let's just say price started at a dollar and by the end of the day, price closed at $5, right? That means price went up. So the opening price was a dollar and the closing price was $5. But within the day, the highest that price actually got was $7 and price went as low as 50 cents, right? So when we're trading, it's important to know what was the opening price for the day, right? It's important to know where price closed for the day, but it's also important to know the lowest place that price got and the highest place that price got because that entire thing essentially is going to be your range, right? Now, some people only trade with the bodies, but it's nice to know what the range was because you're seeing where the market has the potential to go, right? So if that makes sense so far, just drop a seven in the chat. And this is for a buy candle, right? You have to understand the open, the close, the high, and the low, right? So this, of course, would be the sell candle. And let me take this off. This will be a sell candle, right? And it's the opposite. Let's just say price open at $5 for the day, right? But then they were able to sell price down to a dollar. So price open here. It closed eventually when the market closed at five o'clock p.m. It closed at a dollar, but the lowest place that it got for the day was that's an ugly five, but fifty cent. And the highest place that it got for the day was still seven dollars, right? So our low for the day didn't change, and our high for the day didn't change, but where price opened and where price ended at for the day is reversed because, of course, the sellers are pushing the market down. So that's, you have to understand what the candle is telling you because most candles will have a body in the wick. But then in some cases, you'll see a candle will only have maybe a bottom shadow, right? Only a lower shadow or only an upper shadow. And what is that telling you about the price, right? Was price really ranging or was it just a flat open and close and that's just what it was? So that's important to know. So the part of the candle Again, that we see the most is called the body. And then we can call the ends either the shadows or the wicks, right? Whatever floats your boat. You can call it the shadows or the wicks. So candlesticks, as we know by looking at any chart, they're going to come in different sizes, right? You may have your large buy candle and then you may have your small buy candle, right? You may have your large cell candle and you may have your small cell candle, right? So it says long bodies refer to strong buying or selling pressure, right? So if you're seeing a candle, right, and you're in a buying trend and you're continuously seeing big body green candles, right, or whatever color your buy candles are on your chart, that's telling you that the buying momentum is very high. Right. Just like if we were to see a strong body red candle, that's telling us that the seller momentum is high. And for people who trade binary options or quick trading money in minutes, sometimes you'll notice that the candle is just continuing to drop. Right. It may never return to the entry, but it's continuing to drop. Right. That's letting you know that the sellers are having a lot of control in the market and they're actually willing to continuously push that price down. Right. So a long body is going to tell you that the momentum is picking up, right? It's picking up and the market has a high chance at continuing to go that direction. And the short body is gonna tell you that the market, that that side is actually losing momentum, right? That the trend is approaching a change, is running out of gas. Imagine it's like a gas tank, right? When your tank is full, right? You know you have a long way to go. Right. But the closer it gets to empty, you can't really go that much further. Right. So think about the candlesticks like that when you're looking at them. 
the size of the candle, the longer the candle, the more gas you have and the further you have the potential to go, right? The less gas you have, right? And you, you'll know when you're starting to run out of gas because your meter is going to be going down. So I want you guys to start to look at candlesticks the same way. And I'm just going to take a second and show you guys on the live charts examples of long candles and continuing momentum and short candles and losing momentum. But if you guys are following and it's making sense so far, just drop a seven in the chat. And if you have any questions so far, you can also drop those in the chat as well. All right. I'm glad it's making sense. So I'm just going to go to EURUSD just to show you guys some examples, right? Oh, this was from, don't mind these indicators. You know, this was from another uh, video I just recorded. So we can see it literally right here in our face, right? We can see it right here in our face. We had long body, red candle, right? Big body. And then we had, it continued to drop, right? It continued to drop, right? We had, it was a long body here. It continued to drop. Right. So just based on what we just talked about, I'm just going to scroll on the screen so that you guys can can see. Right. I want you guys to look for. The bigger the body, the stronger the momentum and the stronger the trend. Right. And then here's a perfect example, even right here. Right. We had. We had the buying trend right here. We had a big body, right? Big momentum candle. Market was going up, up, up. Look what happens, right? Look what happens. This candle has nobody, right? This candle need a BBL, y'all, right? So the trend changed. It changed. And then we can see literally the red candles picking up the steam and picking up the momentum, and then it actually dropped, right? So that makes sense. Right. And I'll keep scrolling so that you guys can just start to to see. Right. Especially if you're into reversals. Right. I'm a reversal trader. So this is something that I look for. Is the other side losing steam? Right. Are they getting tired? And if it makes sense and you guys can see that on the chart. Right. If it just you like, wow, that actually makes a lot of sense. It's, it's actually pretty clear when you put it like that. Just drop a seven in the chat. All right, and I'll just scroll. Right. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna take it back to the book, right? Because it's nice to to know the technical side of things because a lot of times we're just looking at the chart. So we just we just jump in right into it. But when you understand even more, like, what am I looking at, right? It seems simple, but they have a whole book. I don't know how many pages this book is, but it's a whole book just dedicated to candlesticks, right? So that should tell you how important it is to understand it, right? So that's about the bodies of the candles. Now, this is one of my favorite things, like just fundamentally understanding this that really helped me become a better trader, right? Is understanding the wicks and being able to identify the liquidity. 168 pages, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of pages about one simple thing, right? Or so-called simple thing. Because it is simple once you understand it, right? But it's helpful that we're, we're working through it. So we're going to talk about the shadows and the wicks because it's two ways that you can look at this there's two ways that you should look at this and it will just take you so much further in the long run so typically when we're looking at a long upper shadow right or a longer wick we know that this is signifying some type of resistance right but did you know that this actually was more so resistance from the buyers I mean, it's resistance from the sellers, but this is also telling you that the buyers want the price to go higher, right? Because remember, 
we have our opening price. This is a sell candle, right? We have our opening price at the top. And let me use a number, right? We have price opened at $5, right? The candle's small, but it still has an open and a close, right? So the top price opened at $5, price closed at $1. The highest that price got was $7. The lowest that price got was 50 cents, right? We're going to use the same numbers to keep it simple. Now, this shadow is telling us that price wants to go higher, right? Because this was still, no matter the body of the candle, this was still the highest high of the day, right? So price actually wants to go higher. However, it's being met with resistance from the sellers, hence why the body of the candle is now so small, right? If that makes sense, guys, drop a seven in the chat, right? How the wick is basically the battle between the buyers and the sellers, right? Because the high is still the highest high, but price closed down here, right? Because the buyers wanted to press it up, but ultimately sellers won, right? But not only did they win, they're running out of steam, right? Look at the size of the body and what we just talked about with the bodies of the candles. Is is getting smaller, right? Is is getting smaller, and and the buyers may just they may just take over. And and the same thing with the the buy candle. You still have your opening price here at one dollar. Your closing price is still five dollars. The highest place that it went was seven. The lowest place that it went was fifty cents, right? So the sellers actually got the price to go to 50 cents. They actually they actually did because this is still the lowest low. However, it was a struggle between the buyers and the sellers, which is why, right, price opened and closed so close to each other. Right? So once you get a series of these, right, because we know once we get a series of these wicks, right, we know that price eventually is going to shoot up, right? We know that price is going to shoot up, right? So also, yeah, let me tell you guys with the body of the candle. It can be that they're losing steam or it's picking up because you'll start to see it build. So in this case, if we saw a bunch of rejections at the bottom and then we saw bigger body green or white candles being filled, that's how we would know that the trend is going to change. So let me go to the chart so we can look at some examples. First, we'll look at the upper shadow, right? And we'll see how price was eventually pushed down, right? So we can literally see here. Right, we can see here. Right. And then even if we look at look at it for a buy, right, we see here, right? We see a small body green candle, right? And then we see the green candles picked up. Right. So that makes sense. Drop a seven in the chat. Because I really want this to make sense. I really want this to make sense because it really is like the more you know, right? The more you know. So, of course, once you put all these things together with your indicators, right, with the strategy that you choose to use, you're going to see how 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 much more profitable you will, you will be. So, we're going to go to, oh, the highlight of today, which is actual candlestick patterns that you can start to identify, right, to take your trading game to the next level right so if you know any candle patterns or you know the names of any particular candle shapes um you can just drop them in the chat now right but if you don't know any and this will be your first time learning candle patterns you can just drop a three in the chat because everything we're looking at has a name right 
we see so many plants every single day and we may not know what that plant is, but that plant has a name, right? We see so many animals and we may not know the technical term for that animal or scientific term, but it still has a name. Same thing with our body parts. And it's the same thing with the market. Every single candle on this chart has a name. Every single candle has a name. And once you start to know their names, you'll start to know who they are, right? And you'll get to know them and you'll build a relationship with that candle. And you'll add that candle to your trading strategy. And if you don't see that thing, you're not taking that trade, right? This having a candle that you can identify mixed with the strategy that you already know and love, it really will add to your trading edge. And, 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 and that will be your entry signal, right? You may say, well, let's go over the, 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 the patterns first and then we'll we'll get into the examples. I'm getting ahead of myself because I love this so much. So, all right, the first candlestick pattern that we're going to talk about um, is one of the most popular, probably most, once you see it and you can't unsee it, I would say one of the most easily identifiable candle patterns. Um, and this is called the engulfing bar candlestick pattern. And I'm just giving you guys um, a second if you're taking notes. Right. So I'm just going to read it, um, and then I'll explain it. It says, the engulfing bar, as it states in its title, is formed when it fully engulfs the previous candle. Fully engulfs the previous candle. That's important, right? That's something that you're going to be able to see and be like, wow, this candle clearly took over this last candle. The trend is about to change, right? The engulfing bar can engulf more than one previous candle, but... Right. And this is the important part. Let me highlight it for y'all. But to be considered an engulfing bar, at least one candle must be fully consumed. That is so important. But you're, you're going to see it and you can't unsee it. That's what I love about candles. Once you see it, you cannot unsee it. So the bearish engulfing is one of the most important candlestick patterns, and it consists of two candlestick bodies. Right. So you guys can screenshot this. But pretty much what you'll see with the bearish engulfing pattern and this candle will be red, this candle will be green, right? The body of this candle will literally just fully engulf this candle, which means the baby candle can fit. Well, I shouldn't say baby because that's a whole nother candle. The smaller candle can fit completely into the larger candle, right? But in order to satisfy the bearish engulfing bar pattern, this candle must be, I ain't going to say must be, but... For a reversal, it'll usually be green or it'll be a buy candle. The next candle will be a red candle and it will completely consume the entire other candle. Letting you know that the buyers have completely lost the battle and price is most likely going to go down because that's, that's typically what happens and that's what this candle pattern is trying to tell you, right? In the case of the bearish engulfing bar, this pattern tells you that the sellers are in control of the market because this you'll see something like this. You'll see, and another thing you want to look for with this pattern is it'll be coming off of an uptrend, right? That should probably be green, but it'll be coming off in an uptrend. So you'll see the buyers will lose steam, right? It's going to be a smaller body candle. Not only will the buyers lose steam, but now the last buying candle or the last candle will be completely covered by the new red candle. And then sometimes, I know you guys have seen it, when this candle just be going crazy and it just keep dropping. And typically when we're, when we're looking for this, I'm saying we're trading liquidity and that candle will come down and take out every other entry point from the history of entry points, which is actually what happened with our GJ trade on Friday, right? So that's the bearish engulfing. So we're going to talk about the bullish engulfing, and then we're going to look at it on the chart. So the bullish engulfing is the opposite. Oh, and just in case you aren't familiar with trading terms, bears are associated with sellers. So uh, it'll be selling. It'll be bearish. It'll be the bears. It'll be a bear run. Right? You'll hear all of those things in, in reference to a sell. So next time we play Jeopardy and what animal is associated with the sellers, the answer is bear. And bulls are associated with buyers. So for a buying market, you'll hear buying, bullish, 
the bulls are in control of the market. It's a bull trend. This pair is going on a bull run, right? So that's just in case anybody wasn't uh, familiar with the term. So with this, it'll be the opposite. You'll see a smaller body, most likely sell candle, or sometimes it'll be a small green candle, but it'll be a smaller candle and it'll be completely consumed, which means the entire body of this candle can fit within this candle. And that's letting you know that the trend is going to change um, and it's going to go up for a buy. And it'll look something like this. So you, you can see that the bottom, well, you'll most likely see it at the bottom of a sell trend or a consolidation. And you'll see that even if this candle does have a big body, the body is can still fit within the body of this candle. Right? So you're not always looking for a small candle, but you are looking for the body of this candle to be consumed in this candle, which naturally will make it smaller. So now we're going to go to the chart. And we just want to look at some examples of this. And we're going to say, oh, this makes sense. Or no, I'm not following. Right? I'm not following. So let's see. Let's see. Oh, this is the five minutes. So that's. I'm going to go to the hour, Euro USD. <laughs> okay. If you guys can see a bullish engulfing in this picture, drop a seven in the chat if you can see it on the screen. And if you can't, it is here. We have this green candle can fit completely within this red candle and then the market still sold for a little bit it still sold for a little bit right so again you're not going to see every candle pattern every time but as long as you can identify a candle pattern you'll be you'll be good okay here's another one but this one is for a buy right we can see the body of this candle can fit completely within the body of this candle, right? And then the market actually went up, right? So this is a bullish engulfing example. And then we had a bearish engulfing example. So here's another bearish engulfing example. We see the body of this green candle can fit fully in the body within this candle, market actually sold, right? And I'll do one more example, because again, it's so many candle patterns that are currently happening. I don't know if this is the example I just did, but we can see this candle can fit within this candle, candle the market sold. We can see this candle, green candle, can fit within this candle and the market sold, right? All right. So if y'all can um y'all y'all can y'all think that y'all will be confident. Oh look, here's another bearish engulfing, right? And how you would notice this, and let me just put the indicators back on so we can really put it all together. Y'all could be like, okay. Cause I'm probably gonna do one or two more candles. Um one or two more candles, and then we're gonna pack it up for today. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get my templates. I just made a video on templates, y'all, so y'all can know. Oh, just a little sneak peek. TradingView has all these different templates, so if you were somebody who liked Web Slinger, I remember we were talking about it, you can, um, they have all these templates here. There's Web Slinger right there in a pinch. Gotta love it. And this is easy. You know with Web Slinger, just a throwback for my IM Academy people, candles falling under the EM, it wasn't EMAs, they were just lines. Candles falling under the lines, sell. Look at that, sell, 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 sell. But all right, back to the lesson, y'all. So we're going to do the bullish engulfing mixed with the indicators that we know, and then we're going to do a bearish engulfing mixed with the indicators that we know, and then um we're going to move on to the next candle pattern. 
So look at this. This is such a beautiful example. So let's just say we came into the market at this time, right? We came into the market at this time around here. And as soon as we would have saw that the candles was under the EMA, right? It's under both EMAs. Actually, we got our MOM facing down. We have our cross down on the stochastic. That's all we would have been looking for before, right, y'all? Because that's that's what we've been learning. But then once we see that it's also a bearish engulfing, we feel even more confident to take the sell, right? We will feel more confident to take the sell. If you guys will feel confident to take the sell with the indicators mixed with the candle pattern that you can easily identify now, drop a seven in the chat. I don't know if I'm a geek or if this is just real fun, y'all, but I really love this. It's so much fun. Like, it really is. It really is. So, we're going to do another example. That one a little sketchy, but I'm going to try to find some candles above the EMA. Ah, this is so good. I love it. Look at this. So, right here. right? It was a little bit of consolidation, but if you were still confused, you would have said, okay, this is a bullish engulfing, but do my indicators, even though it's not above both EMAs yet, it did cross above the EMA, which is another confirmation, but you can say, okay, I see that my MOM is above 50 and facing up, and I see that my stochastic blue is over the orange is also facing up, plus I have my bullish engulfing, and then look, that was such a beautiful buy trend. So the more you know, the easier it gets. Is this If this is helpful, just let me know, right? The more you know, the more you know. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next candlestick pattern. We have about 15 minutes left, y'all. Um, but if you guys have any questions, just drop them in the chat now. If you're ready to move on to the next candle pattern, just drop a three in the chat. I just want to make sure I'm not going too fast. Okay. Thank you. And one more. So the next candle pattern that we're going to talk about is the doji candlestick pattern. Um, and it's also one of the most important Japanese candlestick patterns, simply because it tells you that the market literally opened and closed at the same price. This means that, of course, the buyers and sellers are basically in a tug of war for the price. And we kind of got to figure out which way the market is going to go, right? So with the dojis, the opening and closing price are the same. So this means that the market didn't really know which, which way it was going to go. This is really a sign of consolidation. But depending on where this candle occurs, that's going to give you more insight into which side the market is leaning towards going, right? But however, whenever you see this, and again, this is for people who like to trade reversals, this is letting you know that the market is going to reverse so you can even apply this to your one-minute trades and your five-minute trades, right? Put it together with all your other indicators, and then you see a doji. Okay, maybe go for that buy, or maybe go for that sell, right? So if you see a doji at the top of an uptrend, right? We can see that these this is an uptrend. A doji at the top of an uptrend tells us price is most likely about to reverse and go down, right? Because price open and close at the same at the same time, this is also saying that the buyers are potentially running out of steam. So price is going to turn around, right? It's not going to continue to go up. If it occurs at the top of an uptrend, price wants to turn around and go down, right? And it's just as simple as that. Just like if a... If it appears, it's not in the book, a picture in the book, but if it appears at the bottom of a trend after a downtrend, it's letting you know that price most likely wants to go up. And again, this is called the doji candlestick pattern, right? It's just going to look like a T. It's going to look like a cross. 
It's letting you know price open and close at the same place and a reversal is coming. So those are the, the things you want to know about this particular candle. So we're just going to look at the chart. We're going to find some dojis. And they actually may have an indicator in here that highlights dojis for you. Let's see. Because trading view is really that girl. Oh, I got five indicators on this one. Okay, cool. So look at that. Even if, if you put on the doji indicator, um, it will literally hi highlight the dojis for you and essentially confirm that. So we see a doji at the bottom. Um, price is continuing to go up, right? Let's see if they pointed out some, some other ones. But even if you don't see it highlighted, let me just delete it. You should be able to recognize a doji, right? I'm going to circle one right here. Right? It was an uptrend. It was a doji. It was a downtrend. Right? The doji let us know that this was going to be a downtrend. Not only do we have the doji, right? What else do we have? We have our MOM is facing down, right? It hasn't quite crossed under, but we, we do have the cross on the stochastic. So that's two entry signals, right? Remember, a difference between confirmation and signals. We have two signals, the cross down on the stochastic and the doji, and then we get the sell, right? Then we get the sell. So I'm going to show you guys another doji example. Just got to find one. Here's here's another one. We have a downtrend. We have a doji, right? We have, hold on, I can't really see down here. Sorry, y'all, I got a lot of stuff on my screen. All right, so we have a downtrend. We have the doji. We have, price hasn't quite crossed up yet. However, this is a signal for the buy. A candlestick is a entry signal, right? So once you get that candle, it's like, okay. Or you could have just waited for the cross-up. You could have waited for the cross-up. It didn't take too long to happen. It literally was on, I went too far over, but it literally was on the next candle that the cross-up happened. So again, we have that buying trend, but the doji let us know that that was going to happen. And I'll just keep scrolling. I'll give you guys one more sell example and one more buy example. And again, this won't be happening every time. So let's actually see what's happening in the market in real time. And let's see if there's any recognizable candle pattern at this time. Okay. So if you guys were looking at this chart right now, this is actually like such a great example of a lot of stuff we talked about today. Actually, if you guys were looking at this chart right now, would you say the market is leaning more towards a buy or a sell? Let me know in the chat. Teresa, what would you say? Because <laughs> your trades be busted. But there's a few things I'm going to highlight based on the things that we talked about today. So we literally see a doji right here we see the buyers look like they're picking up steam right so that could be for a very quick short-term buy or well you also have your stochastic facing up blue over the orange right you have this here so it's looking like it might go up to the to the previous high Right, but this is just a 15 minute chart. You can look at it on the, we was just on the hour, right? So again, you won't see everything every time. Oh, here's another good example of a bearish, I mean, bullish engulfing right here. Once you see it, it's like you can't unsee it. This candle, swallow this candle. It's above both EMAs. This is facing up. This is facing up. That would have been a great buy opportunity. So those are the only um, patterns we want to talk about today. Um, we did the engulfing examples. We did the doji examples. Um, we can't, yep, buy. Yep, I would have said buy as well. 
Raquel. So if you guys want to come back and look at your USD for a buy, um, you definitely you can, and and you can. We can look at another pair just to see if any recognizable candles are happening right now. There's so much stuff I want to show y'all on Trading View. Like they really be snapping y'all. So GBP JPY. This 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 pair. But this looks like um bullish, right? That still looks like a bullish engulfing because this this baby candle, red candle, can fit inside that green candle. Let me just zoom in. So this pair have been buying for a while, but it is looking like it wanna continue to do that. It's looking like it wants to continue to do that. We still have the blue over the orange. We still have it facing up. This is facing up. This is above zero. I mean, this is above both EMAs. Plus, we got the candle confirmation. You may be able to catch 50 to 100 pips on GJ. Um, I will drop a trade in the chat, but I'm just showing you guys how to literally directly apply what we learned, right? Look at this, right? This is GU, bullish and golfing. This candle can fit inside that candle above the EMAs, right? Facing up, about to be above zero. Facing up, blue of orange. GU, buy opportunity, right? And and this is how quick I want you guys to be able to, like, have the confidence with your trades. Like, so you need to make, you can make time, right? It, it, as The more you learn, the more you take the time to learn up front, the less time you spend on the charts later. I promise you I don't spend hours on the charts i come in here i look for what i'm looking for and then I, I i drop the idea in the chat and then we get on with our day right let's look at uh uc let's see what's happening there that looks to me what does this look like to y'all i'm not even going to say anything what does this look like to y'all just based on literally what we just learned Yes, 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 exactly, exactly, y'all. Now, give me, just drop a reason in the chat. It's so many reasons why this is a sell, but y'all let me know why this is a sell. And, of course, we can check it on the other time frames, too. Give me a few reasons why this is a sell. Wow, this is so nice. Red everywhere, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. Yep, red everywhere, right? Downtrend, yep. What else? About the candles, the indicators. So that's literally what I wanted to, as you as Raquel dropped in the chat earlier, this book is 168 pages. This book is so thorough. And just so decent. And as you can see, we didn't we didn't even really get into a lot of stuff. You can just skim this book. You literally can just skim this book and you will learn something that will change your trading style forever. And you will be making more money, right? No matter whether you want to trade traditional Forex, whether you want to trade options and make money in minutes, the more you know, the better you will be, right? So that's really that's really it, guys. Do you have any questions? Right? Questions, comments, concerns, right? Drop it in the chat. I'll give you guys about 30 seconds, right? 30 seconds. If you need me to send you a copy of this book, drop a seven in the chat if you would like a copy of the candlestick trading bible, right? You can read this in your spare time. It's a PDF. You can pull it up on your phone, right? You can you can look at this anytime. So, all right. It doesn't look like anybody has any questions. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you all for coming today. Um, look out in the chat for, of course, the trade ideas for the week. Or feel free. I highly encourage you guys to take something you learned today and apply it in your demo right just apply it in your demo and see wow that actually works right go go and look at your charts go back test and see is this actually true or is cha-cha just making stuff up right but 
All right. Till next time. Rich friends. You're welcome. Good night.